driving the trees that are closest to your point while you're driving the car and it's answering you still. Um, what they wanted was that same feel in animation. So they would paint the sun on the bottom or the well or mainly just the water color would do. Um, but they would do that on the bottom one so that it would remain fixed. And then they would move the top pane every time they would take a snapshot um, so that it looked like the trees were moving fast and they weren't answering you still. So that's the basic idea behind it. Um, in 1926 um, was kind of the first time that it was ever used. Um, some theory had been put out there before, but uh, and the adventure just turns out that uh, it was the first time that the idea was actually applied. Um, you can see the camera up top here, uh, and then they actually only used two panes. The entire thing is, uh, the entire film is just silhouettes with a background. Um, and I watched part of it. it was really cool because the uh, foreground would be moving a lot like that, and then the, the background would move very little, but it just uh, added a new element. So that was kind of the first step towards using a multi-plane camera. Um, and then in 1933, a guy named Ub Iwerks, uh, he drew this out, which is kind of weird, um, but to get the basic idea is that there's a camera, a front pane with your main foreground on it, and then just the background elements behind it. Um, obviously this kind of drawing. It also came out of our school of self-improvement here at the studio. It is a blueprint of a piece of equipment designed to make cartoons more realistic and enjoyable. This is a plan for a super cartoon camera. We call it the multiplane camera. It was intended for use in our feature-length cartoons. You see, we decided for features. The camera needed improvement too. Now note that our character is capable of giving us a real feeling that we think.
guys at Disney and Pixar got together and decided that they were going to put that in the computer program that they used to also animate the colors. Um, and so colors are a lot smoother and the effect is really smooth too. Starting to, to go back into the 2D field, so hopefully we'll be able to 